Good morning, everyone. I am Corinne Braxton, and today is what? September 27th, I think. Yeah, 27th. I just had a look at the calendar, wasn't sure. Hey, Kathy, good to see you. You were quick this morning. I'm going to check the computer. We are in Bozeman, Montana. And I am in Bozeman, and it is a beautiful sunny day. We are having gorgeous fall weather. Uh, let me just connect now and see if I can find myself on my iPad. There we go. Okay. And you all keep, keep commenting. That helps others find us. So, and, and Judy, I see you. You're way out in Virginia. Good for you. And it's fun to have people all over the United States watching. Maybe the world too. I don't know. Uh, probably not. I don't, I don't, I just know about people that I have all over the country. So um, we have so much today. I have a really neat project for you, two projects, and uh, with the lights aglow. Hey, Kathy, you're out in Oregon, aren't you? Good to see you this morning. You're all jumping on quickly. Um, we have a lot of specials still these last few days. We just have a, three more days. September only has 30 days, you know, so it's a little bit short. It's the end of our quarter for stamping up. It's the end of our stamping up year. Hey, Jan, good to see you this morning, too. I hope you're feeling better. We have, this is the last week of the specials, weekly deals, and I have loved these. Um, each week there's been something really cool. This is week four, and... Um, Everything is about a dollar fifty to two dollars off, like copper foil sheets. This really cool iridescent trim is going to be something you're going to want at Christmas time. This paper is called Festive Foils, and let me just show you. I just pulled it out of. It looks like this, and it's really cool. It goes with this lights a go, go glow suite that I'm using. Um, one thing I really I like these sequins that have adhesive on them. They're snowflakes. Oh, they're with like the Santa Claus. Um, I love the gold leafing flakes. I I haven't done gold leafing since last winter, and that's on sale. Uh, it's in our annual catalog. Um, I have a video about a year ago. Well, maybe a little bit less. It was in the winter time that I did a video on gold leafing. I love gold leafing, but it's a little messy, but very fun. And and the black matte dots. That's a great special. And then we have our perfect partners. I have thoroughly enjoyed every bit of this one. Perfect partners. If you don't have these dies and you want, and you've been thinking about them, they're worth every penny, I think. Uh, let's see, where did I put mine? Oh, here are some cards that I did this past month with these. These dies are going to go away. And so if you don't have them, uh, if you have this little piggy set and you don't have the dies, you certainly want to get those. I think they're just adorable. One of my favorites is the Fresh Cut Flowers. Love that die. Love that set of for coloring. Um, and I love the apple. I loved every one of these. I, I The only one I don't have is the Canyon. This is the apple when I know things are backwards. This apple set is probably the per, perhaps my favorite stamp on the whole catalog. The etching is gorgeous. There's another one. Here's the Yeti to party we did last week. That Yeti one is um, just sort of fun to have the dies. The stamps are going to continue. Here's a another apple one. And the trees are in the main catalog. But they're just really nice. And I really, I think they've been good a good deal. Um, it's nice to have that bundle. Remember, you always save 10% when you, when you get a bundle. I'm going to set those on the floor here get them out of my way because I have a lot today. So we have um, a lot of things that we're covering. We have a couple other specials that are coming up. Um, I just saw this morning uh, Stamping Up announced that this is going to be happening in October. We're going to have um, it, the starter kit promotion again. We always have it. It's always the best deal in the catalog to join and become a, a discount shopper. But during the month of October, you're going to get like almost $50 more with the starter kit. So for $99, I think it's $155 or something like that. Anyway, it's really sort of a neat deal. And then, um, so that's coming in October. Oh, I, let's see, what did I forget? World Card Making Day. Here it is. Here's my paper. Oh, that's this Saturday. 
World Card Making Day. And this is a free event for everyone. Um, I'm gonna try to put a link. Um, you can go to Stamping Up and I, I have, I've had it in some of my newsletters. But if you, it's in the afternoon, I think it's at two o'clock mountain time. And if you buy any of these bundles right now, you get a free set of iridescent pearls, a whole pack. Um, the bundles that Stamping Up will be using is Cottage Rose and the Cottage Wreath. That Cottage Wreath is great. And then there's a brand new one called Warm Welcome Bundle. And anyone can order these now. These are going to be in the catalog next spring. Anyway, you can order that if you order any of these bundles for the discounted price of 10% off, you get a, fa a package of pearls. Uh, they're iridescent. They're really pretty. So that's what's happening this Saturday, 2 o'clock Mountain Time, all over the world for World Card Making Day. So that's sort of fun. I plan to do that and be right here. We have football games in the morning and basketball games for grandkids and things. Hey, Jan, good morning. Good to see you this morning. Hope you're feeling a whole lot better. Um, let's see what's here now. Okay, let's turn this camera around. Close your eyes. There we go. And I have a couple things set up here to just to focus on these. We are going to be using, I have a class this Thursday. It's called, it's the Lights of Glow. And the, the card, one of the cards that we're doing today will be in the class. I am sold out for in-person, but I still can do kits to go. I have some of those and I have probably can take two more of those. This little, this paper is so gorgeous. It's from the, um, it's called Lights of Glow paper. And it's really, it's a little package. Um, in my class, you do get some designer paper. Get a half pack of that. It's six by six, look at this. It's like, and it has like a bokeh. Bokeh in photography is a blurred line. Let me show you what bokeh looks like. Um, they're like the, these are bokeh. When you have that blurry line in photography, when you try to blur the background, it's called bokeh. But it's got lots of gold in it. It's just really a nice set of paper. And we're using that this week and um, in my class. But I want to show you this cute little gift holder. I didn't have a gift card to put in it, but this is from the Mini Pocket Envelope Dies. And it's just, a, it's really simple to make. It has little labels in it, and it also has the die to make that bow. So that's sort of cool, I think. These cards are just little note cards, are you know, our basic white note cards that we sell. And um, I just took some paper, and I just sliced it sort of diagonally. I have the measurements, but anyways, it took one hour to do all four cards and that little gift tag. So um, I just think it's sort of a fun set. So it's... On the cover of our catalog, of course, this is what it looks like. Hey, Linda, good to see you this morning, too. So it features, the front of our catalog features this, and it is really, it is quite a set. I think there are lots of nice examples. Today, the second card we're going to be doing is going to be this one. I'm sort of casing it from this. Mine is slightly different. But this is a suite in the uh, mini catalog. It starts on page 30. It's called Lights of Glow Suite. It's a mega suite. You can get the whole suite for $147. That's two sets of two bundles. You get stamps. It's called Lights, the Christmas Lights Bundle, and then the Brightest Glow. And it, let me see if I can just zoom in a little. We have this glitter paper, this glimmer paper. It's not glitter because glitter flakes off, you know. This is vanilla, gold, and evergreen. And this is the pa paper that I said was on specialty, This the special price. Love these festive pearls. I just use them all the time. These are the two stamp sets. This is the brightest glow. I love the, sta the, the stamps themselves. You could buy alone for $25 or you can buy the bundle for $52. And the bundle has a lot of little piercing and things like that. Hey, Martina, good to see you this morning, too. 
We have a nice crowd, and this is what we're going to be using today. Well, we're using both of these today. So we'll just begin. I'm going to set that out of the way, and we will start. We're going to start with a fun fold, and it's so funny because when I start planning for these things, I have a totally different idea. I had a different fun fold in mind. Totally different idea. A very easy one. And it turned out I did this one. And it's really, I don't know how that happens. Things just sort of, my mind just goes in different directions. Anyway, this is a, uh, I love this, this fold. It's like this. It stands up. And um, it's not hard to do at all. And it's very pretty. These are both different. I mean, they're same format. Today, the one I we create today will be different too. It just has a single base. And I love this. Um, I know I say a lot. I love a lot of things. But the designer paper has a. Uh, these little. Let me see if I can find one now real quickly. Here. Here we go. It has a full page. Six by six. Of these. Little. Like this. It looks like this. So you just cut. This is six by six. You cut it three and three, and you get four four of those little squares, and they're, you know, circles or squares, and you can put, um, or circles, tags, or whatever you want inside. Now we have everything falling to the floor, and then I won't, I won't be able to find it. Okay, um, anyway, I'm going to show you how to make this. I did this one, I don't know, long, maybe last winter sometime. So we'll see which of these do you like. Do you like the gold background or do you like the gold tree? You tell me. Gold background or gold tree. We're gonna, you're gonna have to help me make that decision as we're making the card today. Just set those right there. I use the bokeh paper for the, for the envelope too. We are going to take This is what we want to end up is with a piece like this. And the way we do that is we take a piece of cardstock. Now this is not thick. I always I always use thick for the base, but this really is not the base. We're going to have our green piece is going to be the base, our evergreen. And so this is going to be our base. But when I use a white card, I always use thick, but this is not. So this is my basic sheet of paper. And I cut it at five and a fourth by 11. Let me write that down for you. Uh, let me see, I can't find a piece of paper here. Oh, there it is here. This is, this is, so I cut off, I cut this to five and a fourth. You can only get one card per sheet of paper. Um, and then I bring in my scoreboard it's not hard. I love to do it this way. In fact, I had my grandson, Jack, doing some scoring for me last night. He was really good at it. It took a little, and he was good at doing a bunch of scoring for me. Okay, I'm going to score at one and a half and three and a half. And I've already marked that, so I'm going to just one and a half and three and a half. Then I'm going to turn the paper. Now, I couldn't move my markers out there. I don't need to do that. I'm just going to turn it around and do the same thing on the other side. It's like a gatefold card. And then you're just going to fold it in like this. And then you have these flaps that go backwards like that. I'm going to move this out of the way and I will have these directions will all be typed up later on and I will take pictures after this class and I'll take pictures and post those things for you because I think this is the card that you're going to want to repeat. And there be it might be a little crack there. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't, depending on, on exactly how it's cut. My bone folder is getting a little dirty. I might have to switch that out one of these and give it a good cleaning with some alcohol. Okay, there's our there's our base. And um, now we're going to take our our evergreen. It's called evening evergreen. It's four and a quarter by five and a half. And that's our base. And it's going to go on like this. Just like that. So I'm going to turn it over. Take my seal. 
get my silicone mat out of the way here and so I can get it started sometimes. I should really break out a new dispenser. Mine is so full of adhesive, it just gets all gunky, but it still works just great. So we wanna make sure we have our edges nice and even, just like that. And there is our base of our card. And now let me move this. And now we're gonna do our side pieces. Our side pieces are we're going to cut two pieces, one and three fourths by five, and it says adhesive, not on the edge. I've written that to myself, not to you. So I've got two pieces that are one and three fourths, and we could use either side. I like this side. This is my favorite. So what I mean by that is we are going to put adhesive. Let me just look at this so I make sure. We're going to put adhesive just down the middle and the outside edge because that outside this other edge is going to be loose like this do you see how it's going to we don't want any we don't want any adhesive right there so I'll do the same thing now on the other one you want to be able to pick that up and not have I've done that many times where I've put adhesive over the whole thing because I like to do things sort of quickly. But there it is. And that's a pretty, that's about as hard as it gets. Hey, Carla, glad to see you this morning too. Okay. And now we're gonna take the next part of our, and this is going to be uh, evergreen and it's three and a fourth by four and a quarter. We're gonna put it on the front like that. And now what do you think? Um, this designer paper that I've cut is three by four. Three by four is a magic number whenever you're making cards because you can get a lot of paper out of one piece. So I've cut three different sheets. Okay, you girls quickly tell me, do you want me to use gold, the dark green, or the light green? It's, ever light, it's the dark evergreen or the soft succulent. Just write light, dark, or gold. So this is what the gold looks like. Like that. This is what the light, the soft succulent, that's probably soft succulent back there. Quickly type in, type in what you want me to use. This one is the dark. Martina said dark, Cara, Kathy said gold. Who else is gonna make a comment? Let's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put adhesive on half of that and just because it's going to be we're going to put it on like this, right down the middle. Another one said dark. Let's get a few more. Whoops, that's pretty good. Yep, I think that's straight. I'll take this out of the way. And a couple more. Here's the dark. Here's the light. Here's the gold. What do you think? If we do gold, then we're going to have to do the tree like that. If we do a lighter one or a darker one, then we'll do a gold tree like that. Oh my goodness, let me see once now what you're saying. Um, I already have two different trees cut out. Let's see what you're saying here. I'm gonna look at my iPad for a second. Got, um, oh, that's okay, Lisa, you, no one's ever late. You can always catch it, cut one dark, two gold. Two gold, two gold, two dark. I need someone else, three gold, three dark, three gold. What, how about, we need a tiebreaker, girls. Um, okay, let's see. So this paper is so cool, like this one, it looks like it, has, it doesn't have gold on this side, and this side has gold, and this is where you cut the tree. So let me show you these dies. I hope you're still voting what you want. So we are using the, the brightest glow and Christmas lights like that. And let me see once what the Christmas tree is right here. 
I have already cut these out. It's just a little bit easier not to bring. I do have my little mini machine right there in case we need to do some cutting. But um, so on this, it has, I've just taped these together because you can just cut out an outline or you can cut out where it perforates and makes holes for the lights. And like on this one, you can just put it over with all those gold pieces and then you'll get a tree that has the garland on it already. It's just sort of cool. Um, anyway, you, on this one, you can see that there are holes in it, but you can, it's not, it doesn't show quite as much. But anyway, I like to tape these two together so because they, they can be cut separately, of course. And the snowflake is the same way. So we're going we will be doing this card in our class on Thursday. So, okay, what are you all saying now? Let's see. Gold, gold, dark, dark, gold, gold. I want to, I sort of think gold is the winner. So we'll save that for something else. And I'm going to put my gold on. That will tell us that we need to use this one too because you can't put gold on top of gold. But, And I'm going to use my um, Seal Plus. The Seal Plus is the dark blue one. And on this one, you know, you really need to go back on itself. You just sort of tip your, you just tip it backwards like that. I really like this adhesive now. Um, actually, one of my team members... Mary Jean really gave us a good demonstration once. I just think it's a great adhesive. And I, my key is I have to do it slowly because I, am, I tend to do things very quickly. Okay, so we're going to use this one. I will save my gold tree. This is the Glimmer Gold. It does not shed. I'll save that for another project. And, uh, okay, we're going to put our tree on with some dimensionals. Because we're gonna we're gonna use a fair, you know, with glitter paper you can use your Tombow glue that'll soak in nicely. You can use glue dots that works. Um, but I'm gonna use or you can use the um, dimensionals. And I'm gonna use a lot of dimensionals. I'm sort of trying to avoid the holes, but you know, it is what it is. It's not a big deal if you see. But. Um, Dimensionals are not expensive, and I am a big proponent of using lots of them so your package doesn't, your card doesn't sink in. I do want to use a little dark. I'm going to use a, a oh, that's a regular size one, black. Black would have been a nice choice, actually. I didn't think about that until just now. Um, I'm going to use a tiny black one. It might have been good to use mini ones. I just can't handle mini very well. But I'm going to use a mini up on top like that. And um, can't get that back in there. I have a spot for everything on my desk, and I like to put it back as I'm using it. So last night, my daughter-in-law Chrissy was over, and Jack was here doing, helping me do some scoring and things. Chrissy was helping me clean out or organize. She is such an excellent organizer. She helped me organize my office where I have my computer and do all my shipping. Shipping is sort of a a big process and um, anyway we got that room organized and it's really nice to look at it now um here we go and i'm seeing that kathy must have a birthday happy birthday kathy and um okay i've already um we need some pearls and we need something let's see if i have if I cut a something for the, let me just see if I cut a top. I think it's right there someplace. Yep, I'm pretty good about remembering to do everything because I double check it, but I can't always find it. So I've got some, these are, these are all little dies that are in that set. And I think we'll just use it. I could use the gold one like that. I think I'm going to use the white one though. Just going to put, because it gives it just a little bit more definition, ties in the white back, the white of the sides. I'm going to just tuck those back in the envelope there so I don't lose them for the, so I can always make up another card. I'm going to put this on with a glue dot. And I know someone asked me about doing closed caption so when I do this on Facebook on you on YouTube I don't know how to put 
I, I can I am so sorry I cannot figure out how to put closed captioning for hearing impaired but um someone had asked me to do that and I thought I I can do it on YouTube but I can't do it on Facebook if anyone has an idea let me know um just thought of that was okay I think that looks good now let's cut um let's do our green piece but I, I believe I did not cut one of those so what, well, I don't know what I did here let's see seems a little odd that I would not have cut that but we can see if we have another one in here let's look here's one right there we'll just pull that one right out it's three by three and we'll find a circle I don't have a circle here either maybe let me see let's... here's one here's one I'm gonna have to do a little poking on it these are really cool this card doesn't have a lot of stamping but look at this die oh i love these dies this is part of that um of this one i didn't get this one at first the labels a glow this is the one that has it comes with this set of words beautiful beautiful greetings brightest glow and uh, i love these circles i love the long and I like this. And this bottom piece cuts out. We'll do that on the next card. But I'm going to, let's stamp something on there. Let's do joy. Because that is, um, this would be really pretty, I think. So we'll do that in evergreen. Evening evergreen. Oh, it looks like I didn't close that one. Let's hope that that will stamp nicely. Joy. Where was my little piece? Right there. And we will stamp joy. Here we go. And I wonder if that is closed captioning right there. No, nope, that's not. I don't know. Okay, there's pre it's pretty, isn't it? Um, let's see. We have, we're going to put that in there. I don't think we need a snowflake on this card. The snow, <laughs> I'm tempted to use, I use snowflakes on, on, all my, on all these cards. It's such a beautiful snowflake, but we'll use it on the next one. And we're going to put that joy right inside of there. We're going to keep it flat just because um, there's a lot of bulk to the card already. Put that on like that. And now you can just put this on the inside. And I'm just going to open, try to open it up as flat as I can. I think you girls made a good choice with the gold. I think any of them would look good. And there is our card. Let's put a little gem on. We have to put some gems on these. We're going to use the Festive Pearls. Oh, love, love, love these. These are, they come in, I like to open the side like that. And uh, it, it red, soft succulents, silver, and gold. And we're gonna use gold on this card. And I'm going to put a gold one right on that joy. For the, like that. Now you can always sign your name down there, whatever. You don't have, that's the nice thing about this card. You don't have to write a lot because all you just say is joy in the inside. Okay, and now I'm just going to put these, these on. I'm just going to put about 10 or 11 quite a few i've gone through a lot of packages i've used a lot of red and i've used a lot of gold not so many silver i need to do some something with silver projects with silver would be a good idea okay just sort of alternating like that and do you see the gold sort of sparkling through those holes do you see how the holes are cut they're pierced through when i die cut this and here we go. I love using that take your pick tool. These just pull off so easily. Let's put one more. I don't know how many we have, but it looks great. Just the way it is. And I think that'll do it. Just like that. What do you think? There it is standing up. It's a, one, it's a nice one to stand on the mantle. 
or your ledge or wherever you like to display things after you receive them. So here's today's card. Here are two others that I created with different papers. And here's like here's the other gold one. And then here's the one with the dark paper. And there. What do you think? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. And then I did the bokeh on the, on the envelope. So not a hard, it, it takes a lot of paper. And, um, but you know, they're easy to, they're easy to score on the scoreboard, especially when you just do it that way. But it's a fun, you know, and I think it would be a really nice card too, if I did it like in a soft succulent. But I like using the white just because then we don't need to add additional layers. But those are those cards. So that's the first project for today. It's class. And the next one is this one. This one I sort of want. I did this one to challenge myself. Let me see if I can find it, though. Hmm. Oh, here it is. I have, I have a paper clip to the bottom. This is it. So I'll show you what it looks like in the catalog. Got all my pieces over here and here. And the catalog is right here. Let me see. So I thought, oh, this looks interesting. How did they do that? I have no idea. There aren't any directions. You just look in the catalog. So this is what I have done. Now they have used their um, designer paper all the way to the edge, which is okay. I like doing that, but it's a little hard to get it perfectly even. So I didn't want to do that. And I wanted them to have different measurements. So what I did was I made it all a fourth of an inch. And then I did this. So, and there's the inside like that. So... Um, it's a sort of a fun card. So we'll do that next. And uh, again, I will have the measurements written down, typed up for you at, um, below the pictures and below the video. So here we go. And it, this is a cherry cobbler. So the colors in this suite are evening evergreen and cherry cobbler. This is a top folding, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And there it is, just like that. So I'm going to set that aside. And then we're going to take, um, here I have a piece that's three and a fourth by five and a fourth. And this is the key. I just sort of, I just made this up just from looking at the catalog. So I took a mat that was three inches by five and a fourth, just like that. And I, I just ran these dies over it three different times. So that is from this set. The Christmas lights has these curved stamps like that. And it also has this die. You know, I had the tree before that took that one out. Can't get, out, can't get it out of the case here. Here we go. Um, took that and I just put it, ran it through the die cutting machine three times and just sort of made it like a swag, you know, like that. Just moved it and sort of poked out the little holes. And, um, except for a couple. And then, so the next, so that's three by five and a fourth. And I'm going to just put that right there. And I'm set that aside. And now we're going to do our stamping. I'm just going to bring this in so I don't get it on the table. And I'm just going to bring in my green, my evergreen, and my red. We'll just start with the evergreen. This is all going to be slightly different than the last one. Um, so we're going to do these two stamps. So we're going, to do, we're going to do the evergreen in the dots and the red cherry cobbler in the hearts. Not hearts. Um, stars. Stars. Okay, so I'm going to just ink this up like this. And then I'm going to just sort of swoop it over like that. I'm going to ink it up again, make another one that's going to cross like that. 
know, like that, maybe, maybe one more, I don't know, let's see, one's there, I know, maybe, maybe one right there. No, I think I will not, I'm going to leave that. Okay, and now we're going to take our red, let's put the green right there, and get our cherry cobbler in. Oh, I just noticed we're doing joy on the on both both cards. Same sentiment. Um, so now we're gonna do our hearts. We're gonna put some like this. Oop, I've got some on my table right there. And it's actually a photography mat, and I need to change it too because it's really getting a little messed up. I mean, you know, it just gets a little grungy after a while. Okay making these hearts cross like that and there it's a pretty neat set I never would have thought of doing this had I not seen that in the catalog so I'm gonna I think we could probably use another green let's do one more green a little bit more green on the top and bottom and uh, I didn't clean it yet so I think it'll be just fine I'm going to just do that up there. And another one right down here. Just sort of, just sort of, maybe a little bit right there. Okay, I definitely will need to change this by next time. And, uh, okay, there we have it. And I just, I should have used my grid paper is what I should have done. But I didn't think, didn't, ha I did, didn't have it out here. Okay, and, um. So we're going to take that, we're going to stamp one more thing, and that's going to be our joy again. On, I'm going to pull that grid paper out now. That would have been a lot smarter thing to do, but I didn't. So we're going to do joy on one of these labels. Um, I really wanted to use one of these bigger. This label is so pretty, like this, um, but I, I didn't. I thought it was too big on the card, so I used um, this little one. We'll just do Joy again, and that's what they did in the, in the catalog. So casing the catalog means, I'm going to do one more because it's a little bit off there. I'm going to pull a little closer to me so I can get it centered. Case the catalog or casing a card from someone. I'm going to turn it over because it just has a little bit of a better edge to it. There we go. That's what I like. And uh, casing means copy and share everything. And it is, you know, always a compliment if someone wants to case your card, copy it, get ideas. Sometimes you, you know, change it up a little bit. But anyway, I changed this. Now I have my, my hands are totally red from this, this um, ink. So let's see if I can manage to get through the rest of this without too much trouble. I have um, a little gold, let's see, I have some gold pieces. I have this one I punched out. I thought that was a little big, but we'll see. What do you, what do you think? Um, this is a, one with a little bit more of a border like that. And then this one is a really tight border. These can be all die cut from, that one's a little tiny. We will, what do you think? We, I think maybe that one this time. And this is a little bit big, so let's put um, this on with some dimensionals. And I think I'll just take <coughs> excuse me, take one of my little squares that I like to use. I'll do that. And there we go. <coughs> I'll set that aside. <coughs> the air just gets in my lungs. Okay, now on this, I'm going to, I am going to bring my silicone mat in. 
bring in my stamping plus and I can just I needed a lot of adhesive because glimmer paper glitter paper whatever you're using you, it, it's hard for things to stick to it and I'm just trying to see I've gotten over the edge a little bit so I can just tuck that plus in like that Hey, Nancy, good to see you this morning, too. Okay. Now we've got all that stuck in there like that. So it's got a lot of adhesive. And I see that I need my take your pick tool. Where is it? There it is. I have several. I have a couple holes that are not poked out. So we'll do that. <clears throat> And then we're just going to put this right on top of that gold. Like this. Now this is, I can see that's a little bit over the edge. <clears throat> so I'm just going to take my snips and trim that from the back and make that even. There we go. And now I'm going to use the, I'm just going to put this, oh, I forgot to put the designer paper on. We almost forgot that. The designer paper is four by five and a fourth, just a basic quarter inch difference. There's the other side. That's the side I used before. This time I'm going to use that side. And um, I love the little shimmer of gold in there. there so I can I can type those up later okay now this is going to go on just like that I'm going to use my plus again because it's a heavy piece and just want this to be centered on my card There we go, like that. And our joy is gonna be put right there. And <clears throat> I've already popped up the one piece, so I, I'm not going to do the second. Okay, like that. And we're gonna put a, uh, I can put a little jewel right here on Joy. Now let's do the inside. I want to show you a really neat, um, we'll just say, we'll set that right there for a second. I'm going to take this. I already have this cut and I die cut it for you. Um, I wanted to show you this edge, this die, and this is a mat four by five and a fourth. That die. Mm -hmm. Things just fell off my little TV table. That guy is this one right here. And it's really sort of fun to do that along the edge. Um, you know, if you had gold underneath it, it would look like, you know, you can see the gold on it. We're not gonna do that. But anyway, we're gonna do some stamping and um, we're gonna do a little, our sentiment. May the peace here it is. May the peace of the season light your world and may your new year be the brightest. It's really a nice one. Okay. There's lots of nice things in this. And the, um, so I'm just going to pull it a little closer to me. And there we go. And I'm going to show you what that little star looks like. That star, the snowflake is so cool. We'll just put a snowflake right there because we can, it's a little overkill, but um, before I close that up, I want to show you this. I'm going to show you what it, oh, just to touch that red ink with my fingers. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like with the Merry Christmas because it is gorgeous. This Merry Christmas is one of the prettiest. I'll do it in this, in that, on that.
beautiful font. Look at that. And we'll close that up. We're not going to use that, but I just wanted to show you that one for sure because it's a nice one. And um, okay, let's put this into our inside of our card. I hope many of you will turn into stampingup.com on on Saturday afternoon for world card making. It's a free event. They're going to have directions for all the cards and if you have any of the the uh, you can you can craft right along with them. So, I think it's going to be really fun. Um, I'll try to send that out. Okay, there's our card. Here's the other one. This paper is slightly lighter and has that gold in it, and this one is the darker one. But this one I just uh, added a little strip of gold. I cut off that, that's a little narrower. This is a little wider, this one's a little narrower. So there we have it with our cards. I think you will enjoy this suite if you buy it, and it is really a, a good one, I think. I've turned your back to us here. There we go got to do that. Alrighty. That's it. I'm oh I'm so glad you like the cards. I hope you'll give them a try. Um, they're really it's a fun set. I really enjoyed creating with it. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I don't have the cards that I'm doing on Thursday handy, but uh, they're in the in they're all packed up already. They're all done. But um, they sure were fun. I really enjoyed working on them a lot. So thank you so much. It's a wonderful set. I think you'll enjoy it. Um, that's about it. Oh, you know, um, I just have to tell you, you know, we have a house in Florida in Boca Grande and that's right on the, the uh, path of the hurricane. They're evacuating the island and all nearby cities. My niece who lives in Sarasota, my sister's, my sister-in-law, her daughter um, lives in Sarasota, Florida, right? and they are evacuating that city in Port Charlotte. Some of you maybe been to Florida and been, been to those areas. But it looks like a pretty significant hurricane, Ian. Um, so hopefully it'll they'll be wrong, and it'll, tonight and tomorrow it'll go to a different area and not be as bad as they're saying it's going to be. But they're calling it the hurricane of the century. So we have everything. We have a pretty hurricane-proof house. Everything is had to be put away. Um, we have hurricane-proof windows and things like that. And all the, you know, things like garbage cans have to be put inside. And um, tables and grills all have to be tipped over so, you know, they... They don't blow over. Uh, my husband's Terry's uh, boat dock has to. You have to take the the uh, umbrella, not umbrella. It's got like an awning on it that has to come down too. So, anyway, that's what's happening um, there. And here in Montana, we are having beautiful fall weather. So, I hope you will have a great day, and I hope you'll try some of these ideas. And if and those of you who are watching me on on Facebook and later on YouTube. I hope you will you will comment and ring the bell and subscribe and um, like and share sharing my videos on YouTube or Facebook, my crafting creations by Corinne or my YouTube uh, channel. All that all helps me grow my business. So anytime you anyone who wants to order from me, I would love to help you and be your demonstrator. And that is it. So we will see you. I'm not sure if I will. I probably will not see you next Tuesday. I maybe will do something pre-recorded or something ahead. We are going to the Shep Ranch in Idaho next Tuesday. So with our neighbors. And um, we're just going for three three days. And But I won't be here next Tuesday. So I'll let you know. I'll maybe do something on either Monday or I'll pre-record something and have it ready for Tuesday. So... That's it. Okay, everyone. Have a great day. Take care. Stay healthy. All right. Bye.